Let's move into our favorite saint of the week. Um, and this one is an interesting one. He's not as exciting. Saint of the week, week is Saint Peter Damien. Peter Damien. Now he's not he's not like your Saint George slaying the dragon. He's a little different. Uh Brooke? St. Peter Damien, his feast day was on February 21st, not that long ago. And St. Peter Damien was born in 1007, it's over a thousand years ago. And he died in 1072. So that was when I was born? <laughs> you were, you were, you're not a thousand years old. <laughs> You're not at the. You're you're only eight. <laughs> there's a there's a big difference. Um, but he's a cardinal and doctor of the church. So um, do you and, do and a noted reformer. So we're talking Wait, about our so, reformer now. So he was he died when I was eight. No, he died uh, a little mm -hmm. under a thousand years ago. But he was born a little over a thousand years ago. You're only, you're, you're only, you're only, I don't know, but I think 41. It's, you're only 41 and that was a thousand years ago. It's a big difference between those two numbers. For yeah. instance, he's a cardinal, doctor of the church. You know what a doctor of the church is? You know what that means? I know what a cardinal is, but I don't know what a doctor of the church is. Very good. A doctor of the church is somebody who, it denotes someone who has contributed to the church intellectually in ways that have really brought about a great strength in the church's theological foundation. He's written things that are just amazing. Like uh, Thomas Aquinas is probably one of the most notable ones, or Augustine. They have books that they've written that we have today that we study and that help us understand our faith better. And that's what a doctor does, is they help defend the faith against heresy. Does that make sense? Um, so he was born in Ravenna. He suffered through a harsh childhood and labor for a time as a swineherd for a, a cruel brother. But he was recognized for his, his intelligence by a, a brother. Um, and they, that brother sought his education in Ravenna. Peter entered the Benedictines um, at Fontaine. And in 1051, he authored a book where he dedicated to the Pope. Um, he also waged a campaign against numerous abuses, including um, simony. And in 1057, he was appointed to the office of the Cardinal Bishop of Ostia. I think I said that name right. Used on a number of diplomatic missions to promote reforms in France and Germany, he died on a trip from Ravenna after reconciling the native city with the Pope. So he, he not only rec he is known for this reconciliation, which was very powerful, and other, other things as well. His writings covered reforms in doctrinal matters, including the Eucharist and purgatory. And in his time, Peter was one of the most recognized figures of the church. Um, he's formally canonized, um, Pope Leo XII, and in 1828, the Pope named him a Doctor of the Church. So, actually, that is it. That is it for our Saint of the Week, and I think he sounds very fascinating. He's more of an intellectual saint than anything. Our Saint of the Week. Now, 